Hi, just a quick video this one. Um, recently I've been getting asked quite a few questions about the J grinder, the Easy Presso J grinder, and what the difference is between that grinder and the JX grinder. So I just wanted to really do a quick video just to kind of show people what is going on with the J grinder in relation to the JX grinder. Now I've got my JX grinder here and I've got a J grinder here, so I'll just I'll quickly do a opening here so you can kind of see the difference what you get in the box um, so as you can see they're pretty pretty similar there's nothing really outstanding or, or different about each of these in the box um, my JX grinder is one of the original ones from quite a while ago and you can see I've still literally got the actual paper um, grind reference chart that's how old my grinder is and I just don't use this it's just something that sits on the shelf um, but you can kind of see also where you used to get the actual paper manual with these grinders and easy press out stopped stopped doing that um, and they say that it was something to do with the Chinese government cutting back on paper um, for products that were manufactured in China. I'm not convinced personally, because I do deal with other companies that manufacture in China, and they still include a lot of a lot of the paperwork. There's nothing really changed for that. So I would guess, I would start to guess that this was just nothing more than really like a cost-cutting exercise. But it's a shame because these things are really, really useful, um, especially, you know, the, the grind reference chart. It's nice to have that in front of you um, if you want to obviously reference that rather than have to keep going to your computer and, and, and look at something or maybe have something on your phone. I know it's just like a minor thing, but it really does help personally. I think it's nice to have that in front of you, but you know, that's what they did. And obviously they replaced it with this thing, which you get in, in the latest models where you've got like, you know, a QR code that takes you to the Easy Press or website and you can download all those things will get access to information there so yeah i just kind of wanted to quickly put that in there just to show you you know these these things were really nice so the grinder itself if you're not familiar with the jx grinder that's what it looks like it's got the regular screw on catch cup and it's got this type of adjustment dial um, it's a static dial you can't calibrate this dial, so whatever you get when you close your burrs and whatever number that lands on, that's the number you've got and that's your starting number. So you've really got to regard that number as your zero number and just start from there. Again, it's just it's a small thing, but for some people that's quite significant and they don't really like that. But this is very typical of a lot of other entry-level grinders that use this type of adjustment um, system. And yeah, that's what you're getting with that one. And again, what, you, what that looks like inside your, your burr shaft and everything and your stabilizers kind of look like that. Now these grinders have this rubber hand grip. Um, some people like that, some people don't like that. It tends to move a little bit upwards when you use the grinder. So you have to, you know, kind of pull it back down in place sometimes. Um, that For me, I don't mind that. It doesn't really bother me, but for some people it kind of bothered them and obviously you get your your cleaning brush for that like like you do with all the grinders um for this one because it's an older one i have the regular kind of static handle it's not the s series handle the foldable one um recently i've been getting asked by several people if they can still get these handles because they seem to prefer these handles and i think that comes down to whether or not they think that the s series handles are flimsy or they can break they're pretty sturdy i've done a video on that myself just to show you how how solid they are and how how kind of sturdy they are but people are asking for these again which is quite unusual but yeah that's that's what you're getting with the jx let me just quickly put this back together so i can show you the grinder all together and the handle it's on top like that okay now the J grinder again same sort of cleaning brush and the grinder itself let me just take this out now 
This grinder, it's slightly different and the colour is different. It's a little bit more of a kind of a reddish brown colour where they've changed the material, the metal for this. Um, I don't think it's a different type of metal, but they've certainly changed the colour of it. And it feels a little bit more um, better in your hand. It doesn't feel so slidey or slippy as the original did. I mean, it didn't really, I mean, it was never a problem with this grinder, but it's a, certainly a little bit smoother. And maybe for some people in your hand, uh, maybe it's just a mental thing where you just feel that this is a little bit more secure, I suppose. But that, that material is definitely more, it's more rough than this is more smooth. Um, again, I don't know how significant that is for some people, but you can see there is a colour difference there. It's slight, but it is definitely there. And you can kind of see from the top as well also that that colour is a little bit different. In these pictures, you can, you can kind of see the colours a little bit more. Okay. Now, the obvious difference with this grinder is they've included the S-series handle with these. Um, these are going to be the handles that you get with all the grinders moving forward. I don't think they're ever going to go back to those, those static handles. Um, I could go into why I feel that and why they changed them, but that's, that's a story for another day. But this is the handle that you're getting with these grinders now. And that's what that looks like when it's on. So these two grinders together look like look like that. For the J grinder, there's two other kind of upgrades, I suppose, or, or differences between that grinder and the original JX grinder. And the first one is inside the top here, these threads are finer, they're different to the actual threads on the, the JX grinder, where you can see that those are kind of bigger and they're obviously you know bigger and this easy press i'll say the reason is for that is it prevents static electricity um obviously in in this side here that's your top of the grinder obviously that's the bottom part where your catch cups go and they go on there you would say okay fair enough um this space here is meant to be for that and I'm not really sure how that works. Um, I don't really see any significant change in that. Again, I think when you're grinding beans, different beans can have more or less static um, retention. When you're grinding them, um, beans, when they're more fresh, if they've just been roasted, will tend to have more um, static and more retention than older beans. Likewise, something like a, fire, uh, a lighter roast will tend to have more retention than a darker roast. Again, depending, uh, that's, not, that's not a given rule, but you know, that, that does happen a lot. So I've not really noticed anything because I, I don't know if it's just down to my beans. I roasted some beans the other day and I literally um, roasted them in the morning and I ground some in the afternoon and there was hardly any retention for them. I had hardly any static retention for, for those beans but then you know a couple of days before that I roasted a different type of bean and I did pretty much the same thing roasted them in the morning and then I ground some in the in the evening and they had loads of static loads of retention and so again it, it really depends on your beans also but I'll be honest I've not really noticed any difference in this I, I don't suppose but again if anybody has got one of these grinders and and they are noticing less retention then please drop you know drop a comment down below and we can talk about that and obviously the, the other difference here is these threads on the catch cup here and um, these are finer than 
the ones obviously you get on the original JX grinder. And the reason behind that apparently is that these don't tend to move or become loose. When, when you're grinding, they tend to be a little bit more resistant to that and your catch cup stays in place a little bit better than the original. I never had a problem with that, to be honest. I never had the catch cup coming loose um, at all. I think I might have on my JX Pro once or twice, but it didn't seem to be an issue at all. But, you know, Easy Presso have invested. They've invested time and money into these, these things here, so they must think that that issue is something that needs addressing, where it needs financing and money putting into that. So, yeah, that's what they are. And again, that's a couple of just, I don't know, minor differences, I suppose, but significant if they're spending money to, you know, to change these, and they obviously think that it's something that needs changing. But I just thought I'd point those out as well for anybody who's wondering if there's any other differences and, and those two are the other differences. So dismantling these grinders are very quick and easy. Um, I'll do it with the JX so you can kind of see quickly how to do that. So it is just a case of taking your catch cup off. You'll need your handle on for this one because you, you can't turn your adjustment dial without that handle on. So you just turn in your adjustment dial very quickly like that and hold it up because your burrs can fall out if you <coughs> try and do it that way. So yeah, just a little tip there. And once once that's off, you can just take off your dial. Now this is what I'm talking about. These have three pins in there that fit into the pins on the underside of the burrs. Now there is a way you can see where that, that square is that fits onto your, your burr shaft, like, like so. There is a way of kind of turning these, and I've done it myself, um, where you can turn it around one one notch, and as long as as long as that that part there, the adjust the as long as the burr shaft is obviously fitting in here, and these pins, you can kind of turn them to the opposite side, and sometimes that brings your number a little bit further out to the zero. Mine lands on the one when I do that or maybe closer to the two actually, but it does bring it around rather than like a seven or a five, something like that. Again, it doesn't really matter. Just use whatever number you've got when your burrs are fully closed and, and that's your zero number. So then you can obviously take your burrs out. Your burrs come out and there's a spring inside that. You don't have to take that out, but you, you know, you can clean that. There's a, another kind of disc in there that, that covers your bearings in there. So again, you can take that out, but I don't personally like to take that out because I don't want any kind of um, coffee particles getting inside there. And that is there to prevent that from happening. So you don't have to if you don't want to take that out. But yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Um, that's your inner burrs. Obviously you can take them off. If you want to, mine are pretty on, on there pretty tight, so I'm not going to do that right now. But yeah, you can take your burrs, your outer burrs off. And what you're getting here, these are your burrs, your inner burrs, and they are two, four, six, six core burrs. Very typical for this type of entry level grinder. Um, the 48 millimeter burrs, and they're pretty good. I mean, I would say that these give you a better flavor profile for something like um, pour over or French press than other brew types below that, maybe drip or aero press. They're pretty good for that, but I would say that these are really a little bit more for pour over and upwards. And yeah, that's what they're like. Um, your J grinder, again, it's exactly the same inside and you, you dismantle this grinder exactly the same. Take your catch cup, take your catch cup off. And the catch cup on this one has got a little pad underneath that. You don't get that with these original ones. Okay, and again, put on your handle and. Turn your adjustment dial. Okay, that comes off. 
exactly the same thing. There's nothing different about this. There isn't any, any more settings or any more numbers on these discs underneath. It's exactly the same as the other one and works exactly the same. Um, your burrs, take your burrs out. Let's just put those down quickly so I can put this down. And as you can see, that spring can sometimes fall out. So when you do this, just be careful. And if you can see inside there, you can see that disc I'm talking about that covers your, your bearings in there and it's got a little ridge on the top of that. So if that does fall out at some point and you want to replace that the correct way around, make sure that the flat, the flat side is facing like this, so you can see it, and the side with the little ridge around the center of it goes into, into the inside of that. So when you put that back on, just put it on the correct way around, otherwise it just won't work properly. So yeah, you've got that there. Let's just put my spring down. Okay, your burrs, again, they're exactly the same. So there's nothing different here. The 48, six core burrs, there's no difference in the material. Um, let me just quickly get both of these together so you can see them both, both up close. And there's nothing different there. The, the cuttings, everything, the, the edges are exactly the same. Put them on top of each other like so. And you can see they're exactly the same size. Um, yeah, so there's nothing there. I mean, effectively, what you've got there is kind of a repackaged JX grinder. The J grinder is exactly the same, but with a different handle and a slightly different colored material, but I don't think it's a different material. Um, it's still 25 microns, so there's nothing different about the actual adjustment for the micron size. That's still the same. So this. It's got the same numbers on your chart, they're exactly the same. It's literally just a repackaged JX grinder. As you can see here, when my burrs are fully closed and I've turned the adjustment dial all the way to close the burrs, mine stops on the number six. Um, I'll show you when I change this, I'll take it off again and I'll put it on it in a slightly different way. And it might bring it back around to the number one or two. Again, it's not brilliant. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Like I say, just use this number as, as a, like it was your zero number and, and just count it, count it around when you're, when you're deciding what your grind size is. But I'll just show you quickly so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. The key is obviously you need to have your burr shaft with that shape in line. Now I've got, when that's like, that's pointing up to the zero and it's pointing down to the five there. So if I take this off and you can see where they correspond with that. Now if I want to change that, I'm probably going to want this one round to the top like so, like that. So when I put that on again, that will now obviously be the number five at the top. So when you put that back on, let me just put this back on and see what we get. Okay, it's getting tighter now. Okay, what have we got here? Yeah, there you go. Okay, now that number there is on the one. You see a little circle there where you start with and my burrs are fully closed. I'm gonna turn that. Now you could if you wanted to. I'm not saying everybody's is gonna be like this, but these are all die cast in the factory. So I would assume that a lot of them are gonna be the same. Uh, I don't assume that it's just a random number when they actually die these up, when they, when they actually make them. But you can see where mine's landed on the one. I mean, if you hold that on its side, the handle is kind of not falling. So you know your burrs are closed. Some people don't like that. I will start like that. This is calibrated to me. When mine is like this, my burrs are fully closed and my handle's not moving. But some people like to do that. They like to close the burrs and then open them again, maybe one number. So you can see that falls. So to me, that's really good enough. That's, that's even better for some people that that is properly calibrated now because your burrs are not closed completely they're not touching but they're just not closed completely but i just wanted to include that because i don't know if that's any use to people but it kind of 
some people don't like this this type of adjustment dial because you, you just can't move it you can't calibrate it but for me that's what happens with my grinder so again i hope that's useful for some people i just wanted to kind of show you that when i've just actually um reassembled my j grinder the one i've just been using to demonstrate and i've done the same thing that i did with the jx grinder where i kind of moved the peg around and had the zero at the top you can see that's what's happened when i've closed the burrs that little dot that represents that it's fully closed um it's gone to the zero there my burrs are fully closed here and you can literally see it's really nearly on top of that so you've got this grinder and and you really want to try and get it as close to that zero as possible for your starting point then it looks like this one works even better than that one um, for whatever reason, again, I don't know if this is a random thing that just happens in the factory, but I'm, I'm kind of, like I say, I, I've just done that, and this one is even closer. And yeah, like I say, I just wanted to quickly do this video just to show people so they understand what this is. Um, some people are asking questions whether or not it does this and does that, but it's just the same. It's literally just a repackaged JX grinder. So hopefully... That's useful to somebody and again like like usual if you've got any questions please leave them down below and i'll always try my best to answer them quickly and, and concisely and if you like this type of material please consider subscribing and, and give me a thumbs up and i'll know that this is the type of thing that you want to see in the future so yeah again thank you for watching and take care